Hi, I'm Charlie Love, and in this Google Workspace admin video brought to you by Apps Events and Acer, we're going to go through the top five security best practices for super admin accounts in Google Workspace. These five items are essential to securing Google Workspace, protecting your users, and ensuring that your super admin account is never compromised. So let's get started. One, set up multiple super admin accounts. Your organization should have more than one super admin account, each managed by a separate individual. If one account is lost or compromised, another super admin account can perform critical tasks while the other account is recovered. Giving each administrator their own identifiable admin account is essential for audit. If multiple people use the same administrator account to sign in to the admin console, you can't tell which administrator is responsible for specific activities in the audit log. Number two, don't use a super admin account for daily activities. This is something I frequently see in Google Workspace deployments, particularly in education and small businesses. The organization starts with a few users, one or two admins, and they use their accounts for everything. Give each super administrator two accounts, their own super admin account and a separate account for daily activities. Users should only sign in to a super admin account to perform super admin tasks, such as setting up two-step verification, managing billing and user licenses, or helping another admin recover their account. Super administrators should use a separate non-admin account for day-to-day -day activities. This limits the chance of non-admin activities compromising an admin account. Number three, make sure you get important announcements. If you don't often sign in with your primary admin account, you might miss important mandatory service announcements from Google. To make sure you receive these announcements, set up a secondary email contact to send these announcements to an account that you use regularly. This takes just a minute to set up. In the admin console, Go to Menu, Account, Account Settings, Profile. Click Contact Info. Under Primary Admin, enter the username of the super admin who should get important messages about your account. Use your super admin username, not an alias. Under Secondary Email, enter another email address where you want to get these messages. This address must be outside of the domain that you use for your Google service. For example, a separate Gmail address. The admin's contact information appears in your company profile and the admin starts receiving important messages. So now click save. Number four, don't stay signed in to a super admin account. This is another one that I often see, particularly when admins are working in multiple browser windows with multiple Chrome profiles. Staying signed in to a super admin account when you aren't doing specific administrative tasks can increase exposure to phishing attacks. Super admins should sign in as needed to do specific tasks and then sign out. Number five, use non super admin accounts for daily admin tasks. Don't use a super admin account when it's not needed. There are predefined roles in Google Workspace and you can define your own custom roles. If you have daily tasks, which an admin needs to do, delegate administrator tasks to user accounts with these limited admin roles. Use the least privilege approach, where each user has access to the resources and tools needed for their typical tasks. For example, you could grant an admin permissions to create user accounts and reset passwords, but not let them delete user accounts. Only use a super admin account when it's really needed. And there you go. That's my top five security tips for administrator accounts. But you can find out more at this Google support page, which lists lots of advice on setting security best practices for administrators. I'm Charlie Love, and this Google Workspace admin video has been brought to you by Apps Events and Acer.